Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to uh, my Character Crusade Unbound Season 2 Let's Play, featuring my character, uh, my character Alucel. Uh, say hello to everybody there, Alucel. Take a look at his beautiful mug here. He's lost in thought, staring at this dead fire. Um, I wasn't going to pick this up again until uh, Season 2 officially started, either Monday or Tuesday. But both Alucel and I were getting a little restless. Um, daily exercise and testing himself is very important to Alucel, so... Uh, he's also uh, made this brand new blade uh, of his own design, which he's very eager to test out. Um, and he's very eager to test himself as well. So, let's go do something. Um, it's already pretty late in the afternoon, uh, 4 o'clock already, um, and the two quests that he has right now, um, Runil's Journal and uh, Killing Bandits, both kind of on the opposite ends of the uh, of Falkreath hold uh, from where he is right now. But he did pass Haldir's Cairn on his way in, so he's going to go investigate that. Um, see what trouble he can get into there. So let's go. Put that hood back on because it's a little weathery out here. Um, so I hope I'm not a exercising too much hubris here. Uh, Haldir's Cairn is not uh, a beginner dungeon, uh, especially not for uh, a level 2 melee character uh, who doesn't wear armor. <laughs> um, so we'll see how well this goes. Um, I am running uh, TK Dodge, which helps out uh, a little bit with a couple things. Where am I going here? Just missed it. Um, which I'll go through in a second. Almost there. Um, here we are. So yeah, TK Dodge does a couple of different things. One, it lets you dodge if you have your weapon drawn while you're uh, running in any direction and you hit the sprint key, you'll do a dodge roll. Uh, when you do a dodge roll, you're invincible for uh, the first 0.3 seconds of that roll. So that gives you a defensive option if, if you uh, don't, uh, if you can't block for some reason or um, if blocking isn't an option. Um, the other thing that this does, uh, which is a little less obvious, hold on, let me set up my torch hotkey here. I forgot about the torches. Um, the other thing it does, oh, I didn't forget about the torches, where are they? There they are. Let's set a hotkey for that. Um, if you have a block available, basically if you don't have a spell or a weapon in your left hand, you can cancel a regular attack with a block at any time. So that makes committing to an attack a little um, a little less risky. Uh, you can't. Oh, I didn't know that actually let you uh, <laughs> cancel power attacks too, but that's good to know. Um, that makes things a little easier too. So. I'll definitely be making use of that a little bit. Alright, let's go in here and see what we got. So, um, concerning positive and negative value pairs that uh, the uh, Character Crusade guys uh, wanted us to think about while we're playing through this stuff. Um, Alucel right now has a head full of steam. He's eager to prove himself. Um, he's got a brand new weapon. Uh, he's got some newfound freedom that he's never had before. So he is um, very positive right now. 
Uh, he's got the whole world a ahead of him. Um, but now he's feeling a little uh, unprepared. <laughs> much, uh, much how I felt uh, coming in here. Uh, he's a level two character. He's not wearing armor. He has uh, no experience whatsoever. Um, and he doesn't know this, but this actually isn't uh, a beginner uh, level dungeon uh, in the grand scheme of things. So things are shifting to the negative for him right now. Doubt's creeping in a little bit. Um, hopefully he'll be okay. <laughs> um, so I'm picking up a lot of loot here. That's because um, money is very important for this character. Uh, he doesn't like getting his hands dirty too much um, with manual labor type stuff like mining and smelting, so he buys a lot of crafting materials for his sword. Um, he also pays for training. Improving himself is a big thing to him, um, and training gets really expensive. So um, I'm going to be picking up pretty much everything I can carry, uh, which isn't always the best roleplay option, but I think in this case it, it fits. Um, he's going to want to remove some of this exposure stuff just because it's going to get in his way and he's going to need uh, he's going to need um, as much freedom as, of movement as he can get because we're about to see some action here. And with that in mind, I'm going to hit the F5 button and it's funny, there's usually some uh, leveled armor on that table too. Let's see what we got up here. Alright guys. Okay, so that went pretty well. And this is what makes um, this dungeon, or part of what makes this dungeon so difficult, is that these ghosts will spawn right up on top of you. Um, most of the time in a, uh, in a pair of a ranged enemy and a close-up enemy. So usually while you're engaged with the melee attacker, the, the ranged guy, either magic or a ranger, will, uh, will be peppering you from downtown. Um, so you gotta you gotta make these battles fast and decisive. I'm gonna go ahead and quick save again because there's some more trouble up ahead. Here we go. All the shall fear the dead. Everybody's favorite kill move. Most awkward thing ever. Okay. See, we're doing pretty well here. Uh, I try not to uncover myself with super heavy stuff if it's not valuable, so I usually look for a, um, a 10 to 1 value to weight ratio, if I can help it. I don't like backpacks for this character either, I just don't think it looks right. Um, at some point though, he will... Uh, employ a follower to act as a porter, and I'll put a big old backpack on whoever that happens to be. Alright, who do we got in here? Knew it. I got lucky there, he would have busted right through my guard. Waited for us to come out of the roll on that one. surrounded. This is not good. Out of stamina here too. Stamina is going to be super important because it allows me to block. Uh, because it allows me to bash, excuse me. Alright, so we got through that. Oh 
Hulk Flesh spell really saved our asses at that time. not super heavy that I can sell off for a decent amount of gold oh, there's a coin purse right there all right so far so good I think iron warhammer not dealing with that anything else over here Okay, the test continues. Alright, I think there's some bad stuff waiting for us up ahead. injured there. Jeez. Look at my health too. One good swipe from a power attack, even if I blocked it or not, probably would have been dead. Let's heal up. Um, the other thing that makes this dungeon so, uh, um, Dangerous is the boss. <laughs> that is a tough fight. Uh oh. Draugr are worse, uh, weak to flames, so. Using a torch to block Bash is a uh, pretty good strategy against these guys. Snakes. And whale. The iron, dag iron daggers aren't worth much, but they're light, so. Oh, I had it. Some of my characters are completely opposed to lockpicking uh, in any way. This guy isn't, he's just not fond of doing it. Uh, and he won't level it up past uh, 25. So in the beginning it'll help me level up a little bit, but after that uh, it starts to become useless except for what's on the other side of it. And I'm using the uncapper to to overcap that. <laughs> it caught me off guard. Alright, let's see if we can lure the melee guy out here and take him on. Oh. Some tiny blocks in there, causing some staggers, that's good. Ah, uh, gotta dodge in on him. Here we go, that went fairly well. back over here. The helmets are fairly valuable for how much they weigh, so, or, um, yeah, for how much they weigh. Let's see, what do we have here? Good thing we had our torch out, we would have never saw that, and that would have hurt really bad. Alright. Too heavy. Um, I like the Fallout 4 style lock picking. I, there's a mod that um, locks all locked doors and chests unless you have the 
relevant perk to be able to unlock it. Um, I like that better. <clears throat> it just makes um, the lockpicking skills more valuable, which I think they sorely need. Uh, I didn't install that for this playthrough, but maybe for the next one. Uh, okay. So this is the boss fight. This is Haldir himself. So I need to make sure I got all my stuff ready. I gotta make sure I save. <laughs> this might take me a couple tries here, so bear with me. Oops. Stuck in an animation there somehow. Okay, take care of this guy up here. Out of stamina. Time block there. He's got two more clones here that I gotta take care of, and this is where it can get difficult if they actually uh, gang up on me. Yep. Yep. Man, this fight is tough. <clears throat> Hopefully, my animations don't become frozen on me again. Stamina to the bash. There we go. Yeah, alright. Try to save my magic over healing in this fight, but I think I'm going to use a ward to get in close on this guy. There we go. Okay. I'll dear himself. No more clones. Stamina. <laughs> oh, no more stamina. All right, so we got through it. Had to chug some potions there at the end. Man, that's a tough fight. It's making me sweat. Um, you can also see how extremely important stamina is to this build. Uh, if I can't bash or dodge, I'm pretty much screwed. Especially against uh, mages. who just want to hold their spells on me the whole time. Okay, we did get a level up though. That's good. Got some good loot for it. Drop some heavy stuff. Um... Yeah, I'm actually... Uh, I don't feel great that I, I had to use the potions there, um, but... Let's see, sort these by weight so I... Know what to get rid of here. Um, but we got through it. We survived. Um, I would say... Both myself and Alusel would call this... Uh, we call this a success. We're under an encumbrance now, so we're out. Um, he's glad to be alive, certainly. Um, he knows that things... Uh, he's not great. Um, he's got a lot of work to do on himself. His sword held up really well. 
uh, did some pretty good damage to the uh, to the minions anyway. Um, now he feels like he needs to temper himself up to to keep up with his weapon. But now that we're out of combat, um, we can level up again. Just have to find a nice place to meditate and do that. First, I'm trying to get any kind of good loot I can from this place. I don't think there's going to be much more in here. So I kind of blew through the, the lore uh, regarding this place. Um, so what it looks like is all this energy was uh, Haldir's spirit himself. Um, being fed through this through this well here um, down into these dead bandits so it looks like uh, Haldir possessed these bandits who were hiding out here um, to jump down there on top of this uh, this rock formation here and kind of sacrifice their life force for him to be uh, revived Um, now what he was going to do uh, after he was re revived I have no idea but it probably wasn't good so we probably did a good thing for Skyrim here let's put our travel equipment back on and I think we'll go back to that uh, river in Falkreath to, to meditate and we can go over um, what our next steps are as far as our, our perk selection So stamina, obviously, I think even more so than having limited health reserves, it was the stamina running out and making it so we couldn't bash our way out of the flame spells at the end uh, is kind of what killed us. going anywhere. Now back off before I do something drastic. She doesn't have the scar. What? Oh, you're right. We've made a mistake. Now move along before that mouth of yours gets you into trouble. Next time you're looking to pester someone, make sure it's the right person. Alright, Alicel's feeling strong right now after clearing that dungeon, so... Foreigners. What Just... a nuisance. <laughs> Says the Red Guard in Skyrim. Foreigners. What a nuisance. What was that they all about? I was some other Red Guard woman. They just wouldn't leave me alone. I hope they get lost in the wilderness. Yeah, alright. So he just wanted to make sure that there was going to be no trouble there. Um, he saw a woman being pestered by a couple of... Uh, Hammerfeld soldiers, it looks like. Back to Falkreath. So yeah, we'll level up, uh, we'll sell off our loot, um, and it's getting pretty late, so by that time, it'll probably be time to have some dinner and go to bed. I pretty much just wanted to uh, uh, walk through my perk selections for my level ups here, though. Oops, did not mean to do that. this spot in Falkreath. Um, I use it for some either antisocial or fugitive characters sometimes to pitch a, 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 a campsite out here. It's close to water. It's really nice. It's away from the city a little bit. So 
to go ahead and reflect on what happened. Listen to the water as we become stronger. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like stamina is more important right now, so I'm going to go ahead and level that up. Uh, now, what do we have at this point? Being able to block more damage would be really good. 10% um, really isn't much at this level right now. Um, but more importantly, what taking a perk here does was is open up time block, which uh, will block 30% more, which is very significant at this level. Um, it also, if you if you tend if you happen to be able to land a timed block, it will stagger um, anybody that's close to you, which would have helped us out a lot there too when we got surrounded. So that is one major consideration. Um, one-handed is also another one. The faster we can defeat our enemies, the less time they're going to have to actually do damage to us. Um, but I don't think we had much problem with the damage uh, up until the very end when we had to hack away at Haldir and his clones a little bit. Um, tend to be holding our own as far as damage output. Alteration is another big one, or the other big one. Um, the only one I can take right now is the basic alteration mastery perk which basically makes our um, Oakflesh spell cheaper to cast uh, and it lasts longer, which would be nice. Um, the big one here is the Mage Armor. So this will actually double our uh, armor rating if we're not wearing armor, which is really good. That's just a blanket um, damage reduction perk. So I'm a little torn here, but actually I think I'm going to do block. Yeah, I think I'm going to do block. The faster I can get this time to block perk, I, I think the better off I'll be. Very close to level 3 here too. Oh, so close. One more uh, stone flesh spell, and I would have had <laughs> I would have had two perks here at this level up, but that's all right. Uh, yeah, so Alusel clearing his first dungeon. I think we did pretty well. Um, all that's left now is to sell off the loot, um, eat dinner, and go to bed. So I'm not going to put you guys through that. But uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.